Welcome everybody to a new video related to the new gold rush. There's no gold rush anymore, but now the new one is digital and this one is the Bitcoin rush. So let's go over the distribution of Bitcoin, how much is remaining and give us an idea of what's the status related to Bitcoin available in the upcoming years. So who owns Bitcoin? This video is with data dated of the 17th of November 2024. So many of you know that total amount of supply available for Bitcoin is 21 million coins. That represents 100% of the total supply of BTC. The coins can be fractured a lot. You don't have to buy a whole coin. You can buy fractions of those coins. I estimate that since inception 13, 14 years ago, 6 million BTC have been lost. Lost on all computers, people who send Bitcoin to wrong addresses, people who lost the access keys to their coins, people who completely forgot that they mined Bitcoin in the past, all of the above. So that represents approximately 5-6 million Bitcoin. That's already 28.57% of the supply. Then as of November of 2024, all the approved ETFs have accumulated over 1.22 million BTC. That's above 5%, so 5.83% of the total supply. Then you have the Satoshi Nakamoto pile of coins, which amounts approximately to 1.1 million Bitcoin. That's 5.24% of the total supply. Countries, including the USA, have gathered Bitcoin mainly through seizure of those coins. The amount is 529,365 Bitcoin, a little over 2.5%. Public companies, including MicroStrategy, who is buying a lot of Bitcoin, is 392,595 Bitcoin, 1.87%. Private companies have approximately 366,000 coins, 1.75% of the total supply. Then you have some Bitcoin in DeFi projects, almost 156,000, that's 0.74% of the total supply. So that equates to potentially 53.48% of the total amount of Bitcoin available to purchase. Keep in mind that approximately 1%, I believe, is still to be mined, so it's not totally available yet, but it will be gradually available over the upcoming years. So little above 53% still available, but we have already additional estimations of buying pressure for Bitcoin. And that starts with MicroStrategy, who recently purchased $2 billion of Bitcoin out of their plan of 42 billion. So they have 40 billion remaining in the next few years. I estimate that to approx approximately 400,000 Bitcoin, 1.9% of the supply. Then IBIT, who is the main ETF, has already accumulated in over nine months, 471,328 Bitcoin. I could easily see them doubling that amount in the upcoming year. So that's 500,000 coins, 2.38% of the supply. They may purchase beyond that. So this is only my estimation. With the current administration that's gonna start in January, 2025, the US currently have 207,189 Bitcoin. But if they approve the purchase of up to 1 million coins in the next five years, that represents 792,811 Bitcoin. That's 3.78% of the supply. I estimate that 
in the next 10 years, probably 250,000 Bitcoin will be lost because people will make mistakes. That's still 1.19% of the total supply. Keep in mind that since inception, I estimated that 6 million coins are lost. So that total remaining BTC of below 45% of the total supply. And that equals to 9,288,300 Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a finite asset. We cannot print more than that. Many entities and individuals who have purchased coins will do so for a very, very long time. Some will trade, yes, but that, in my estimation, is a low percentage of people. So 9.288 million Bitcoin available. This is a graphical representation on what is remaining. You see on the left side of the pie chart, the 44% remaining, which is outstanding already. 13 years after inception, that a big chunk of Bitcoin is no longer available. But now, just wanted to close the video with these following stats. So, on the planet currently, related to the information that I was able to gather, we have 3,194 billionaires on the planet. Do you think they will buy a few Bitcoins just in case they can buy more than a few Bitcoin. We also have 56 million millionaires on the planet as of 2021. That's a little above the 9 million BTC that I estimate to be available in the next five years. In a study performed in August 2024 by Crypto.com, they reported that 219 million people approximately own Bitcoin at different levels. 219 million people, it's 2.74% of the world population. So 2.74% is far from an equal distribution of Bitcoin for everyone. So time is running out to grab a piece of the pie for Bitcoin. I know that many people have heard this message, but with this presentation, as of November 2024, we have less than 50% available. And this could be even lower based on the fact that retail owns a chunk of those coins that have not been reported anywhere. So how many are really available in November 2024? It could be less than what I reported here today. So this asset is special because it's finite and because the demand keeps on creeping up, the price has no choice but to go up. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is a summary for those who wanted a big picture of what the status is of Bitcoin as of now.